Welcome to Geneva and WISIS Forum 2022. With me is Kevin Perkins. Kevin is the uh, Executive Director of Farm Radio International in Canada. And congratulations on the recognition of your project in the WISIS 2022 um, prizes in the media category. Yes. So tell me about the project. Uh, well, our organization, Farm Radio International, uh, works with a network of about 1,300 African radio stations, independent radio stations, and we help them do radio programs most about farming. But then when COVID uh, first became, you know, recognized as a real problem for Africa, we reached out to them and learned that they would really uh, appreciate more information, accurate information. They were having a hard time sorting out the real information from, from fake news, for example, and also concerns about their own health and their own safety as journalists, as broadcasters, as people. And, and also their worries about their station, how their radio station uh, manage the economic impact. So we uh, were able to get some sub financial support from Global Affairs Canada to offer a special set of resources and supports and, and networking opportunities and training opportunities for uh, broadcasters that they could use to keep providing their listeners with good information about COVID and keep themselves uh, healthy and safe and on the air. That's just a one wonderful example of using technology to uh, uh, unite people, keep them informed, mm -hmm. the inclusivity mm -hmm. part of that as well. You must be really proud of what you, you achieved during such a difficult time. Yes, yeah, so we were really uh, excited to have the opportunity to respond that way and to be able to do it very quickly. Uh, the team got right to work uh, generating some really good resources. We were able to network out, you know, most of our contacts and uh, special subject matter specialists that we count on are in the agriculture sector. So we had to develop new partnerships with World Health Organization and ministries of health to make sure we were getting the best information from them. And, and so it was a big effort to really find new partners, find new sources of information, but then use that to do what we traditionally do to respond to an urgent problem. And I guess like all radio, these stations don't just provide information, but it's it's comfort, it's well-being, isn't it? It's that Absolutely. sense of community. Absolutely. That, that even, and are, are they all sort of agriculture-based programming radio stations, but but clearly sort of bring together communities in other ways too? Yes, all of the stations have that as part of their mandate is to serve rural communities with agriculture, nutrition, health uh, information, and uh, really to do development-oriented programming as well as their other regular programs. So, yeah, that, I think... Um, they were feeling some urgent pressure, you know, to 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 uh, to give that kind of support and reassurance and comfort. Don't panic. Uh, there's things you can do. Here's the information. Uh, you know, there's things that you can do to protect yourself. It was very reassuring to listeners and to them to be able to offer that support to their listeners. Yeah. Well, congratulations yeah. on on well deserved recognition. Thank and you. Good luck with the project moving forward. Thank yes, you for joining thank you. us, Kevin. It's been a pleasure.